There is the familiar in this barn south of Albany. Go down a back pose. And then there is one of the hottest trends in working out, a mix of animals and exercise. Call it goat yoga. <laughs> Stay on. Once the class begins, so do the goats. They have got free reign to jump up on the back of any child's pose they may see. So on your inhale. One of the bigger goats took a fancy to digging in my scalp to try to find whatever it is I'm not sure. And start to lean back a little bit into camel pose. So Heather Davis right teaches there. the class so with goats and the people doing yoga. Goals. She says the goats actually Lift help yoga do heart. what it's supposed to do. Sometimes when you're trying to relax, your mind starts, you know, galloping off onto your to-do list or whatever stuff you've got going on in your life. It's really hard to do that when a goat is like snuffling in your ear or trying to eat your eyebrow or just snuggling with you. I'm loving that everyone loves the idea. It's um it's a dream come true. I get to hang out with my goats all day. He thinks he's a baby goat. <laughs> Lainey Morse hosted the first goat yoga class on her farm last summer, and its popularity has soared. The New York Times has been out to take a class. Come back up through center. As has the BBC and others. She's had people from Portland and Seattle and as far away as New York and Los Angeles who attend yoga here as a way to get away from the concrete jungles they come from. Goats don't have to have a bond with a human. You you can walk in the first time and they're going to come up to you and want attention. Right now, Lainey takes her goats to Emerson Vineyards and Hanson Country Inn for three classes on Friday, Saturdays, and Sundays. But if you want to have your session of goat yoga, you have to get on a waiting list that now stretches into late summer and early fall. Your Albany, Cor Harlan, Coin 6 News.